Hi everybody, welcome to a demo of Gravitina. My name is Lisa and I am a product manager here uh, with the company Data Strato. And one of the things that I'm really excited to show you today is our new REST catalog service for Iceberg and how you might be able to use that with your current Hive Meta stores using Trino all in one interface. We're also going to be showing you what it looks like if you're running Trino and Spark and how the two might interact together, as well a little bit about our UI. So first things first, if you're using Gravitino straight from the open source repository, you're going to be noticing that you can use either the command line, which is entirely through the Rust interface, mainly through curl commands that you would be using, or through our UI. So Currently, if I wanted to use curl, I can do something like create a meta lake, or I can see current meta lakes, and there are a variety of commands that are supported. In this case, I might be interested to see what meta lakes currently exist. So using curl, I can send a request, and the return format is in JSON. I can see that there is a meta lake that does currently exist uh, called meta lake demo, which we're going to be using today and contains some play data for us. And we're also going to be able to create a meta lake if we want to here as well. So if I wanted to, I can send a request. In this case, I'm going to be calling it meta lake. And if I run the previous command again, I can see that two meta lakes now appear. There's the first meta lake that we just created and our original meta lake, which is the meta lake demo. And they're both coinciding together. If I go to the UI, which is hosted on port 8090, and I refresh this page, I can see that the meta lake that we just created has just populated. There's nothing here currently. If I wanted to add in a catalog through the UI, I can click this Create Catalog button, and there's several options for me to fill. In this case, we currently support mainly relational data. However, soon into the future, we're going to be supporting uh, topics and file stores as well. And so do expect this to expand out. We have several providers that we can choose from. And again, this is going to be expanded in the future as well. There's currently Hive, Iceberg, MySQL, and Postgres. And the way that you connect to each database is going to vary depending on who your provider is or depending on what your store is from. And so in this case, we can also add properties as well. So if I wanted to add in a catalog here using a REST interface, I could also do that. And so I'm just going to be running through some commands here and showing you what that might look like. And if I wanted to get the list, in this case, I've just created a catalog named test, and I've provided all of the information that would be relevant. And when I send a request, currently we have just one catalog. If I go to the UI and I refresh here, we can see that it has been populated, although nothing is currently in it. So mainly for this demo, we're going to be using Meta Lake Demo. This is currently what's in our playground. And you'll be able to access a Postgres catalog, an Iceberg catalog, and a Hive catalog. So you can see that there's several different pieces of data that might be relevant to any sort of organization or company here, such as an HR database, a sales database, and a normal company database that might contain miscellaneous information across all different sources. As you can see, one is Hive, one is Iceberg, one is Postgres. And we can see different bits of information that are associated with each database, each catalog, and each table. If we go into a specific table, we can also see the catalog itself and the different types of information and column types that are found. We can also do the same for our Hive catalog that's been previously added. And all of our information there has been pre-populated. So this is included in the playground, which is what you can use to play around with Gravitino if you don't want to set up multiple databases and multiple catalogs on your own just to join them together and see how it works. So for this demo, we're going to be looking at the 
way that a data engineer might interact with Gravitino through Trino. And so in this case, we have a Docker container here. Uh, we actually have two, one containing Trino that has been connected to Gravitino and one containing Spark that is connected to an iceberg catalog. And so before we get into that, I also just want to give a quick shout out and note that our UI currently here that you're seeing is our community edition and that in the future we're going to be having an enterprise edition that adds a lot more functionality and that looks a little bit sleeker but currently as you see here we're a little bit more bare bones on the UI and any suggestions we are of course welcome to uh, help implement. So let's say that I am using Trino and I want to show the current catalogs that I have access to. And again, this is connected to Gravitino. And so all of my catalogs across several different services appear here. You can see the same ones that were in the UI. We can also do a lot of the same things, of course, that we were doing in the UI, such as looking at the schemas, and looking at information on the tables. We can also cross-join across these different catalogs. So in this case, if I wanted to write a select statement that involved both the Iceberg catalog and the Hive catalog, I would be able to do that. And so if you wanted to, say, migrate your business from Hive to Iceberg, or you had some Hive catalogs that you wanted to make available through Hive, then this is a good use case scenario for you. Gravitino provides a Iceberg REST interface service where you will be able to use Spark to, say, access REST, the REST catalog, and be able to write, say, table data. And then somebody else might be able to come in, or yourself, and use Trino along with Hive to be able to join that data together or to be able to access everything in one single fabric layer. So let's say that I am somebody in another department and I want to use Spark. That is a tool that our team uses and we have our own environment set up for this. So in this case, I'm going to be using Spark SQL. And much like in Trino, I'm going to be looking at some of the information that might be available. So in this case, if I wanted to look at the database, that was the sales database available in Iceberg here. I could do that. And if I showed the databases, you can see that only sales pops up. And this is because this current session of Spark is only connected to our Iceberg catalog. I can also get extended information if I wanted to. And this is all pretty consistent with what we've seen before, so I won't go over it again. But if I wanted to, say, run some Spark code that inserted a new row into this sales database, in this case, the customers table, I could do so. So let's insert a new row here. But before I do that, and so I haven't run it yet, I'm going to go back to Trino for a second and I want to show you what this query looks like and look at what results come by. So this is our 17 row result and we can see that it was able to join across both Hive Metastores and the Iceberg catalog. But it's not including this new row, so I'm going to insert it. And if I go back here and I run that command again, you can see here that we have now included our new data. And so this is pretty exciting if I want to do that again, just to verify. Let's do 98, very wild right here. And then I want to add this new customer, data guy. And we can see that he is now here. And so we're able to use Trino 
in conjunction with Gravitino to provide this layer where everybody can access all of these different catalogs through this one single point. And it is consistent if you're using it in a different environment too. So this is again just connected to our Iceberg catalog, but the changes are consistent with our Trino session. So if you do have any other questions, uh, please do let us know. Uh, we're happy to support new connectors and in the community, you're welcome to find us on our repo, uh, datastrato forward slash gravitino on GitHub. And please do give our repo a star and give us any suggestions or comments or any thoughts about what you see. And thank you very much.